Welcome, single carrot theater family, friends, newcomers, and all. Can everybody hear me? All right, you want me to be louder? Okay, yeah, I can be louder. Um, I, I want to just take a moment and welcome everybody. My name is Elliot Rao, and I'm uh, thrilled and honored and privileged to be up here representing the Single Carrot Theater Ensemble to welcome what a wonderful, wonderful evening and group of gathering of people. So give yourselves a round of applause. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to take my time through this because this has been a, quite a surreal process um, from when we got called uh, by a group of guys over at a Seawall Development Company about two years ago. So there are many people to thank and, and first I want to just thank the ensemble. Uh, if, if you are an ensemble member, just raise your hand or the, the creative hat you are wearing. I'd like to also take a moment to thank our board of directors. If you're an amazing board person, raise your hand. Yay, give it up for the board. This is an incredible board. We have a growing staff. We have staff. If, if you are a staff member, raise your hand. Yay, that's Paul Doherty. <laughs> There's Batya Feldman. Um, this party wouldn't have happened without our grand opening committee, uh, spearheaded by Karen Stokes. And we had some wonderful, wonderful uh, guidance throughout the whole, the whole process by some superstar volunteers. Um, and there are many people volunteering tonight helping us take coats and park cars and uh, run around. So a big thank you, everybody. Um, this idea started, and, and we kind of tried to lay it out on the wall over there, in, in the mountains in Boulder, Colorado. And uh, I just want to take a moment to find Buck and Geedy. Um, and, and I want to just thank you guys for being here tonight. Um, uh, Buck, Buck and Geedy are uh, former classmates of, my, of mine. Um, and also Buck, our founding artistic director, had this idea uh, uh, some crazy night in 2005 and uh, basically started this whole thing. And we searched for 50 cities to find the best city in the country to move to and, and bring our art and bring our energy. And, um, and here we are today, and it's, it's mind-blowing to go from an idea in a classroom with a group of non-graduates um, over to a new building in space. So, um, so I just wanted to take a moment to thank Buck and Geedy and all the single carrot ensemble members who are not in this room who helped make this happen. They're all over the country and the world making art right now and, and they're here in spirit and their energy is in these walls and, and we couldn't be happier. So thank you Buck and Geedy for being here tonight, guys. I want to take a moment to thank our generous sponsors, the Johns Hopkins University Homewood Community Partners, uh, were generous, generously supported this entire event. So a big thank you to Johns Hopkins for helping make this happen. Um, the team at Hearts and Labor, who is feeding us, and it is really, really good. Uh, that's Hannah, Allison, George, Corey, Connor, and, and, and Spike. Um, we are thrilled to be next door to people who love red meat and beer as much as I do. Um, and, and really a big special thanks. Uh, I just want to take a moment and, and recognize Tebow and Evan uh, and all the guys at Seawall who, who walked us through this process and they called us and have become friends and mentors and business partners and it's been quite an honor to, to be part of this building and this vision that they have. And uh, you know, who picks up the phone and calls a brand new nonprofit arts organization and says, we want you in our business model. And uh, uh, I couldn't have been more happy to get that call and, uh, and, and look around and it's, this is what's happening in Baltimore right now. So, um, and of course, this entire process and the capital campaign, uh, Donald Mannequin has become an incredible connector, door opener, handshaker, introducer, and um, if Donald's here, um, I just wanted to thank him personally from the, from the bottom of all of our hearts. He really uh, made this happen and introduced Single Carrot to the wonderful funding community here. And the, yay, yay. 
the funding community in Baltimore was a huge reason why a group of artists showed up and said, we want to make our art here because the State Arts Council, Baltimore Office Promotion of the Arts, the funding community, um, you know, sets the standard. So uh, this is why we came and, and to have funders come and see the impact, the social, the economic impact that the arts can have is just inspiring and I think the ripple is happening and to see, you know, BOPA relaunching the creative uh, art project and so operating grants, it's all happening right now and it's, it's pretty fun to be in the midst of this momentum. Um, and there are some amazing elected officials here. Um, I would like, <laughs> I would like to just uh, acknowledge and thank, of course, uh, Madam Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blank for joining us. Thank you, Madam Mayor, for being here. Um, I want to thank uh, City Council President Jack Young for joining us. Um, the, the lovely Mary Washington of the 43rd State Dr District Delegate. We've got my neighbor and my district councilman, Councilman Carl Stokes in the house. And, and of course, the lovely Mary Pat Clark who just shows up at our door and asks us questions. Um, and so, we love it. Uh, we're thrilled to have you here as our guests and, and to join in this celebration. Um, and of course, there's only one other person I need to thank, and that's my mom. So thank you, mom. Um, so, um, Without further ado, I'm going to introduce uh, the, a, a longtime patron and supporter, Miss Doreen Bolger, and she's going to tell us a little bit shortly about her first single carrot theater experience. Thank you all so much for listening and for all those thank yous. <laughs> So I'm, I have to thank Single Care for bringing so much joy uh, to our city, to the neighborhood where I'm fortunate enough to live, and to Station North, to everything they do for the city. But I also have to thank them for helping me. So okay, in 2008, I decide to have an adventure. I think, so in 2008, that would be six years ago, I was 59 years old, and I thought, well, I'm a woman alone, and I'm not going to be intimidated. I am just going to go out on my own some places. All right, sister. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was like, well, where will I go? A woman alone. And somehow I found out about Single Carrot. And it might have been the quote about Paul Cezanne and, you know, the revolution the, and, and everything. Paul Cezanne is one of my favorite artists. So I decide I'm going down there. So I drive down to Station North, to North Avenue and enter the load of fun, and I am an hour, 15 minutes, an hour and a half ahead, and I try to buy a ticket. They're sold out. Um, so I said, oh, well, you know, someone won't show up. I know how it is with performing things. There's someone's kids are gonna get sick, right? So I sit there for the whole time, like over an hour, and uh, no one doesn't come, <laughs> and there are no seats. And eventually, the carrots decide, well, this woman has waited for an hour. We'll just put an extra seat and let her stay. They did. And that was the beginning of you know, my enthusiasm for single carrot. Um, there were many things that happened afterwards. Um, my late great friend, Nancy Harrigan, and I uh, got together and cooked dinner for a group of people we invited later to come to try and expose the carrots to a broader uh, funding base. And amazingly, we cooked so much food that actually we invited everyone who was in the theater to stay. And it was fabulous, you know. I, I think, unfortunately, I think those people thought every night dinner was so <laughs> But anyway, it was great. And, you know, I, I just have to commend uh, Single Carrot for the way in which not only do they have artistic excellence, but the way in which they respond to human beings and make each one of us feel so much a part of their achievement and success. So I'm enormously proud and uh, I'm glad I decided to be bold that night. And yeah. I'm glad you all did too, to be bold the other times you've come and to join in tonight in this great celebration. So thank you. And thank you, Karen. Yeah. Welcome everybody. Um, my name is Karen Stokes. I am proud and privileged to be the board president of Single Carrot Theater. And on behalf of the board of directors, I would like to thank you all so much for being with us tonight. This is just a remarkable evening and we so appreciate uh, you joining us on this amazing journey. Um, we, like Ellie, I'd like to give some special thanks to 
uh, our elected officials, you know, uh, Jack Young is here, and Mary Washington, and Mary Pat and Carl, and you are really part of our community. Uh, it is just uh, remarkable that we've had the kind of both political, philanthropic support um, that uh, Baltimore has just opened its arms up for this theater company, which is just terrific. Um, in the room are some of our loyal friends and donors from the very beginning. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Our colleagues from the other theaters, it has just been such a collegial experience as well. Um, our, thank you, all the artists, artistic directors who are here. Um, uh, we affectionately always think of both Fred Lazarus, uh, the president of MICA, and Doreen as being kind of the godmothers and godfather of this company. And um, Elliot's already mentioned our sponsors that are here tonight, so thank you. I'd like to introduce our mayor, um, who's going to have a few words of welcome for us as well. Um, the mayor is a tremendous supporter of the arts. And all of us, um, Mayor Rollins, would like to thank you for the return of the Creative Baltimore Fund. It was announced just last week. Um, this is really exciting to a lot of people in this room. The grant program is going to provide uh, about $200,000 in funding to individual artists and cultural organizations for arts programs and projects that promote public access and, and things that are artistically and culturally vibrant. Um, for those of you in the room, the deadline is uh, March 31st. Go to the VOPA website, but we thank the mayor for her leadership on this. And I'd like to bring up our wonderful mayor, Stephanie Rawlings-Blake. Thank you. Thank you, Karen. I think you get the prize for the most creatively placed carrot for the evening. <laughs> Congratulations, Elliot. It was a pleasure to meet your mom. Uh, I want to thank uh, Doreen for being such a fabulous supporter of the arts and really helping to uh, light a spark in this community. So I'm, I'm very grateful uh, for all that you've meant uh, for Baltimore. I want to thank Bill Gilmore, Bopa, Bopa, who has the best tie on, there you are, <laughs> of the night. Is that, that's glass, right? It is glass. Yeah, see the best tie of the night. And I want to thank uh, Council President Jack Young for, for being here and supporting this endeavor. And uh, I see Delegate Mary Washington. I want to thank her as well, my, my very good friend, City Councilman uh, Carl Stokes, as well as, um, you know, the, the uh, you're like a rock star at Mount Washington Elementary School Council. Um, she's the bubby of, the bubby of, uh, <laughs> the bubby of Mount Washington Elementary School. And Mary, Council uh, woman Mary Pat Clark to, to who, to my daughter and uh, my little cousin is just, uh, you know, known as the, the, the grandmother in, in uh, of, of, of students at uh, Mount Washington, and it's good to be known as that, I'm sure. Oh, it's the best thing that's ever happened to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and not the yes, yeah, so you're blessed, very, very blessed. So, I'm trying to make sure I'm going to get through all of my acknowledgments, and if I don't, I want each and every one of you to blame whoever made the rum punch. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank uh, the support of uh, Bob Embry. I want to also thank uh, Johns Hopkins for their partnership. Andy, thank you for being here and supporting this. I see um, the Seawall Development. Uh, thank you very much, Tebow, Evan. Parts and Labor Restaurant. I loved getting that preview. I'm a big, if someone told me I couldn't eat cheese or um, cured meat ever again, I don't know what I would do. I'd probably jump off the top of the Bromo Seltzer. If I could get the key, I would. Anyway, but I don't know what I would do. So I'm, I'm very thrilled uh, with your spread this evening, and I'm, very, I'm looking forward to your new restaurant. But thank Mark Sisman of Healthy Neighborhoods. Where's Mark? He's done a lot of great work in this community. I want to thank Atlantic Stage Lighting and Full Circle Photography. I want to thank, where's my consent from Everyman Theater. Thank you very much for representing for the West Side. Mm -hmm. And I also, <laughs> I'm telling you it was the rum punch. I also want to thank uh, Fred Lazarus for uh, being here representing Micah and for being just a great supporter of the arts. When, you, when I look around and I see, uh, 
our vibrant arts community. And Doreen, I pro you probably feel the same way when you think about all that we have going on here in Baltimore. I I'm recently getting back uh, from the leadership meeting for the U.S. Conference of Mayors. And, you know, during the time, you know, you're with your peers. And um, I got a chance to host the Conference of Mayors a few years ago. And I told, I said to the people who were helping me to put on the conference, I said, I love Baltimore. And it really burns me up that people don't know and can't see the Baltimore that I know and love. And I'm going to have one shot to show off Baltimore to the leaders of our country, and I'm gonna make this work. And I want you to know, I had a chance one evening, we shut down the whole of Clipper Mill and threw a big street party. Uh, we had an after party at Woodbury Kitchen. We had food trucks, dessert trucks. We had um, some of our not-for-profit art organizations doing art projects with the, the members to this day. Uh, they still remember it, and even mayors that have been mayors for years say it was one of the best. They, they, they try, I think they try to be kind to the other ones, so they, they won't say the best, but they sort of give you the look like you know it was the best, and I know it was the best. <laughs> but they said, honest to goodness, I mean, I was just there, I just got back this afternoon, they're still talking about uh, the conference, and they're talking about the fact that I opened their eyes to the Baltimore that, that, um, that I know and love, and Arts played a big part of that. You know, we got to sh we we took them to Woodbury Kitchen. We got to expose them to uh, the the different arts. We we took them to the American Visionary uh, Arts Museum, and I, I held my breath for the 45 minutes of John Waters' um, <laughs> one man show. But it, it it shined it shined a lot a light for me on all that special in Baltimore. And when you think about your story, Elliot, um, a a student. Uh, from Colorado and in Colorado that is trying to change the world with art. You couldn't have picked a better place to land because Baltimore is a place. If that single carrot can start a revolution, the place to plant it is in Baltimore. And I, think, and I am so proud of the work uh, that the arts community is doing to uh, revitalize and to just to breathe life, new life, into so many areas of our city. So I'm very excited to announce here a few days ago with the students on the Steel Drum Band, uh, the, the Arts Grant, uh, the Creative Baltimore Fund, and I'm looking forward to doing so much more with each and every one of you. So thank you, thank you, thank you for supporting Baltimore's arts community, and thank you and congratulations to Single Carrot Theater. Thank you. Much, Mayor. So we're ending, we're getting to the end of our little program here. Um, my mission right now is to sort of talk about where we are going. And uh, to begin with, I'd like to say to you, please don't let this beautiful facility fool you into thinking that this is the culmination of our capital <laughs> campaign. It is not. In fact, tonight we're kicking off what we are affectionately calling not your mother's capital campaign. So why are we calling it that? Well, the overall goal is relatively small, actually. It's $400,000, and uh, the funds are not just for the space, but for the people in it and the community around it. So that makes it a little bit different. Um, like most of the things the carrots do, this capital campaign is a little unconventional. We are fortunate to be able to move into this terrific facility uh, before we were really finished with our capital campaign. But we had the opportunity, and we are here. But we need your help, and we need your friends' help, and everybody in your network's help to outfit this space, make the final payments on a first-class theater lighting system, and create some, a fund for some flexibility for us. It's really important. We've raised 200000 so far. We've got 200000 to go. And I'd like to especially thank the foundations who really helped us to begin with. They include the Abel Foundation, Jacob and Hilda Blaustein Foundation, Franz Merrick, Seawall Development, Harry Gladding Foundation, Sylvia and Eddie Brown, and the Clayton Baker Trust. Thank you, thank you so much for believing in us to begin with, to help us launch this effort. Um, one of our very special and generous capital campaign individual donors is here tonight, Carolyn Frankel. Carolyn, 
can you raise your hand? Thank you. Carolyn has just been a superstar individual donor with us. And she has actually made a special donation challenge for tonight, for our opening weekend, which, she, which I'd like to announce tonight. She's going to match up to $5,000 for every gift we get in from individuals, non-foundations, from sources. I already know I had one person say to me they're going to buy a brick right here. You see these names? $100 for a brick. You can do that, right? You can do that. $500 for your name on the step. Somebody in here can do that, right? And that chair over there, they're probably maybe we'll get another chair at some point, but right now, that chair is $1,000. If you want your name on a chair, we've got plenty of chairs for you. So anything you can do, we would just so appreciate. Um, so thank you so much, Carolyn. The pledge cards are over here. We have naming opportunities. There's a little chart right there. Casey's here somewhere. If you want to make a pledge tonight, please, this way Carolyn can give us $5,000 extra. So we would love that. We are now going to move towards the end of our program. Elliot, close us out. All right, thank you, Karen. Hey, thank everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, we're gonna do, we, we've been working on this for, for some time and uh, since uh, we have a new building, uh, we said, you know what, this is our one shot. We're gonna do a ribbon cutting. So um, I'm gonna invite all the ensemble, all the staff, all the fellows, all the board members to gather over by the theater door. If somebody can find a pair of scissors and bring it with them, uh, we've got them. Thumbs up. We're gonna gather over there. This is, mom, this is the photo opportunity. I was talking about. All right.